I saw Diddy is still getting crazy lawsuits filed against him for things he did in the past. And a lot of people are saying that he is not getting out of this one without getting punished. Natalia Rubin, one of the multiple club goers that was injured during a shooting at Club New York in Manhattan on December 27, 1999, is out here reigniting her case with Diddy. As she claims she is going to get another million dollars from Diddy for what he did to her. Natalia was paid $1.8 million by Diddy after the shooting, however. Diddy never went to jail for the crime. His artist Shine, who was signed to his bad boy records at the time said in court that he fired the gun during the altercation between Diddy and another man in the club, and Shine got sentenced to 10 years in prison in June 2001 even though Natalia said that he saw Diddy fire the gun. The current lawsuits being laid against Diddy has motivated her to speak again, and she is claiming that Diddy has been harassing her for the past 24 years after he shot her in the face. Let's check it out. Hey, how you doing? So, hmm, here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call them, lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits or last two major lawsuits, um, the one with Cassie, she made mention that Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. And of while there were lots of things of importance, that stood out to me. And I'm going to tell you why. In this lawsuit with the producer Little Rod, they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit... He appears to be a very young producer to me, but he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in 1999 and let Shine take the fall for it. Let me tell you why that's of utmost importance to me. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet called a cop killer. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow powed in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible, testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew, pew, me in the face. He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video, that's his MO. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life, has traumatized my life, has caused undue harm, irreparable damage to my life, lied his behind off. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to Little Rod. He threatened him. Oh, you don't think I bust my gun? I shot up the club in Club New York and let Shine take the fall for it. I shot them people. Well, well, well. It only took 24, 24 whole years for it to come out. You see this tattoo? This commemorates me getting shot. It took 24 years for him to come out and say it. I've been saying it all along, but y'all pick and choose who y'all want to believe. Oh, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Not only did he pew, 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 pew me in the face, 
he also set off a course of harassment against me for the past 24 years. When I tell you the things I went through, there was a time in 2017 and 2018 where I got seven flats on my BMW, seven, the same tire, in a two year span, seven on the same tire and they were all new. Every time it happened, I had to get a new tire. I have the pictures to prove it. Harassing me. You wanna know why? Because prior to Cassie, I was the only person to be victimized by him and then to successfully sue him and get paid. And he had to pay me out of his pocket. He has never gotten over that. Oh, baby. See this RICO charge that's about to come? This conspiring and pew pew up the club and ruining or attempting to ruin my life? As God is my witness, I will not stop until you suffer every single iota of punishment until I have every second of recompense that you took for me. For every tear that I had to cry or my children had to cry, I am going to get a million back from you. I will not stop until you pay the price for what you did to my life. And for all you people out there on the internet and in cyberspace and in the far reaches of my life or the perimeters or wherever who always like, oh, she just saying that to get some hell. What you got to say now? What you got to say now? I had some youngins on the internet that ain't even old enough that weren't even alive when it happened. Arguing me down, cussing me out, calling me everything but a child of God. Go check Instagram. It's there. Harassing my life. Harassing me. Oh, you lying. He ain't do that to you. You just want clout. You just chasing clout. What is that to chase clout about? How is that clout chase worthy? It doesn't even make sense. Well, I guess you, it would make sense in this new generation. But you better believe I will have my say. I will have my say. Hashtag having my say. Hashtag the dopest nerd ever. Hashtag Ebb Talks. Y'all ain't seen or heard nothing yet. I've had my say. The best and the rest is yet to come. If you have stayed with me to this point of the video, consider subscribing, hit the like button, and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.